hitting the gym once or maybe twice a week is a great way for me to maintain my healthy lifestyle and keep that energy level up. But what about what you eat? That's just as important. Let's go to my kitchen and I'll show you what I mean. You know, one of the challenges for me was converting some of these lovely comfort foods that I love during the wintertime months, especially my chili. Find a way to make it where it's probably half fat or less and probably half the calories. So let me show you what I did. So instead of using the traditional ground beef, I'm using our, our chicken breast, but I'm making sure I check to remove any of the fat before I dice it really small, really small. Or if you have a grinder, you can grind it up and make a nice ground chicken out of it. Another thing I did is I took the traditional chicken broth and I got the low fat and low sodium. You know, you really can't tell the difference. But also, the hardest part for me was the salt. Instead of salt, I use a little bit of wine. The white wine has a little salt in it by nature, and it adds another layer of flavor. So we're cutting out salt completely in this dish. Now for the oil, you're looking at probably one of the biggest calorie killers in the dish. It's about 120 calories per tablespoon, but I'm gonna use cooking spray instead, zero calories. And for the cheese, you can get low fat or completely fat free. Now one of the hardest things to solve in cooking lower fat is fat itself. Fat doesn't have a flavor. It's a mouth feel. And if you can find a way to work or change things in your dish to maintain that same mouthfeel, people will never know you're cooking low fat. Now for this dish, I'm gonna be using some canned cannoli beans that I rinsed in a strainer first and drained well. We're actually gonna be using these half and half in the dish itself at the end for presentation and flavor, but more importantly, we're gonna process them in a food processor to mash them up really nice with the, some of our chicken stock and really get that mouthfeel of the fat back into the dish. They'll never know. I told you it was gonna be small slices. We're dicing it where it's almost like a grind. Now don't forget when you're done cutting up your chicken and you're gonna do your vegetables, wash hot soapy water your cutting board and dry it off and place it on your wet paper towel so it won't move around on your countertop before you get your vegetables cut up. And make sure everything is ready to go in the pan, even lids off your cans before you start to cook. Now to our large hot stock pot that's been preheating for about one minute, we're gonna add our cooking spray and we're gonna put in our vegetables to get them caramelized and get them going. Then we'll add our chicken. Now when the chicken is just done, we're gonna add our garlic. But instead of dicing the garlic up, I found this nifty little tube of real garlic in the store that I'll go ahead and add some of this and stir to combine well. And boy, you talk about the aromas really coming up. Wow, it smells great. Now we're gonna add half of our chicken broth, low sodium, low fat, and the other half, food processor. Same with our beans, half in the pot, the other half in the food processor. And back to our chili, we're gonna add our undrained can of diced tomatoes, our white wine instead of salt, and for another layer of flavor when nobody's looking, a little liquid smoke. A little more. Now, as soon as we get a simmer on this, we're gonna to go to low temperature and cover and we go back to our food processor where our beans and chicken stock are in there and add our low fat or no fat cheese. Save some for garnish and we'll process till smooth. And this is what's gonna go in our chili to thicken and give it a nice mouthfeel with no fat. We'll stir it in. Now we'll finish with our chili powder. Cumin. 
a little cinnamon. Now we're going to simmer for about two minutes and remove from the heat and we'll let it set to thicken on its own about 10 minutes. Here's to your health.